friends. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Vicki and you're with Grammy in the Kitchen. Today, it's going to be a great day. We're going to make southern fried chicken thighs and drumsticks. And then we're going to make some delicious homemade macaroni and cheese. Not from a box. Homemade macaroni and cheese. Then we're going to make some caramelized onions and gravy to smother our chicken with. That's the way I like it. And then on the side, I just open up a can of baked beans. So if this is something you're interested in, please stick around. It's going to be a great day. Aprons on. Let's cook a beautiful southern dinner. So these are the leg quarters that we picked up on sale last month and... I just separated them and put them in vacuum seal bags. I am just going to go ahead. Some of these still have the backbone on it. I want to remove the backbone. So I got some kitchen shears right here. And I do want to remove, separate the leg from the thigh. So I'm just going to cut into the meat. And on the skin just so I can find that joint we'll remove some of this excess skin we will not be throwing that away we'll be saving that for our mixed chicken stock Always wash your hands after handling raw meat. All right, so I'm just going to liberally salt my leg pieces and then some pepper. I'm going to go ahead and give these a toss. Try to get all that salt and pepper everywhere. So we're going to be frying these in some oil. We need to get a skillet on the stove and get some oil melting on there. Starting off with two cups of flour. I have some cornstarch. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of cornstarch in with the flour. Add some Italian seasoning, about a tablespoon. Got some onion powder. I'm also going to put about a tablespoon and some garlic powder. Again, another tablespoon. I'm just going to mix that together. In this bowl, we're going to add two eggs, and I made a batch of cashew milk, so I'm just going to add maybe a quarter of a cup. So I have some avocado oil. We're going to use that to fry our chicken it with. We have our flour, our egg, and our legs. Just going to give that another toss with the salt and pepper. We just want to make sure our flour and our cornstarch with the spices and herbs are mixed very well. In this pot I have some water. We're going to be cooking some macaroni for some macaroni and cheese. So we're going to go ahead and get that water all salted. Best time to season pasta is in the water. Our oil is starting to shimmer. So we're going to take a piece of chicken. I have a thigh. We're going to 
put it in the flour first and always when you're doing a wet and dry batter you have a wet hand and a dry hand I just want to make sure we get that all over that chicken all right then we're going to go into the egg wash again wet hand dry hand then back in the flour with the dry hand take off any ex excess skin side down and the next one and then we're going to just fry that up we do have the oven warming up to 350 because we will finish this chicken in the oven so all we're trying to do is get a nice crusty crisp on it do not want to crowd the pan with too many chickens so we're doing the three thighs and then we'll put the three drumsticks our water for it our pasta is boiling this is actually a two pound box I've already used one pound I'm just going to use a little bit more than half I had to guess, I'd probably say about 10 ounces. I baked the chicken for one hour, but after 30 minutes, we're going to flip and then we're going to bake for an additional 30 minutes. And when it I'm going to remove this avocado oil. picture I'm gonna wipe out the flour gunk from this pan because we're just gonna reuse this pan I'm gonna caramelize a onion put this in our scrap bag for chicken stock Cut them about anywhere between an eighth and a quarter of an inch thick. So I cut the onion in half, then I cut it in quarters, and now I'm cutting them in slices. We're going to add a little bit of this avocado oil that we cooked the chicken in back in the pan. We're going to add our onions and we're going to cook those slow and low while our chicken is in the oven. The pasta is done. Let's go ahead and get that strained. I swapped the pans. So you can actually see what I'm going to be doing in this pan. So I got this on a medium low. We're just going to saute, saute those onions very, very slow. We're going to put about two tablespoons of butter because we're going to make macaroni and cheese. And we're going to start off making a roux. A roux is flour and a fat, in my, this case we're doing butter, equal parts. So as soon as we get this butter melted, we'll add the flour. going to cook that for about one minute just to cook the raw flour taste out. Go ahead and add pepper and salt. And you can 
use any milk of your choice. Um, I don't use a lot of dairy milk. I am not dairy free. I do love cheese. I just don't do dairy milk. So I actually just whipped up a batch of cashew milk. We're going to use that. But the concept is the same. Put a little bit in there. That helps keep the lumps away. Add a little bit more and it will start thickening up right away. So we might have put about maybe a cup to a cup and a half of milk in there. We're going to add another tablespoon of avocado oil to our onions. We're not going to add no salt to this because we wanted it to caramelize very, very slow. You add salt, it'll pull the water out from the onions and then it'll be soggy. So right here I've got some Romiano pepper jack cheese. This is about two cups. I do buy it in the block from Azure Standard. And then I break it myself and I just keep it in the in the freezer. And I should have took this out just a bit earlier, but I didn't think about it. Just gonna put the whole thing in there. Turn this down to a medium low until our cheese melts. And our milk, flour, butter mixture. I'm going to turn the onions up to a medium. Cheese is a big block in here, but it'll get dissolved in there one way or another if you buy that boxed name brand macaroni and cheese with the powder macaroni and cheese or even the one that has the liquid cheese and the silver baggy thing stop just stop if you have macaroni cheese of your choice cheddar pepper jack colby doesn't matter cheese any of it will work fine and butter and flour you can make a homemade macaroni and cheese and the only difference is there are ingredients that you can read and you do not want to put a, t a lid on your onions because you don't want them to condensate and the moisture get back into the pan. You want that to evaporate. That gives you beautiful caramelized onions and not soggy cooked onions. Alright, we'll turn the temperature back down. It's a little too hot in here. Go ahead and add another tablespoon of the avocado oil. You want to constantly keep the cheese mixture moving. You do not want it to scorch on the bottom. Look at that cheesy goodness. Can you see that? I'm adding a little bit more milk. almost ready to put in the pasta let's give it a taste see if it needs any salt or pepper nope <laughs> that is perfect oh and that pepper jack got a little kick to it now we're adding our drained pasta okay it did turn the burner off now I'm going to stir the macaroni into the cheese sauce. Tell me if 
that's not better than any boxed macaroni and cheese out there. We're going to make a gravy with their onions right here. So I've got about a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to add a tablespoon of flour. We'll add another tablespoon. We got a home can chicken stock. chicken stock in this pan. I'm going to bring that up to a boil, see if it gets too thick or that we need to add some more to. It's been 30 minutes for the chicken in the oven. I think I'll turn them. into cooking the chicken in the oven and I'm giving I'm turning them just over one time and we're going to put them back in the oven and just going to add a little bit more and we're going to call that perfect now we need to taste it for salt and pepper needs a lot of pepper because remember we did not season the onions when we cooked those and we didn't season the flour for the roux so now we have to season the gravy perfect our onions are done our macaroni cheese is done and then all we have to do is heat up the baked beans now what you could do is with the onion chicken gravy that we made with the caramelized onions you can actually put your chicken in that and finish cooking it in the oven with the gravy my husband does not like that so I like onion gravy on my chicken he doesn't want gravy on his fried chicken so we're not going to do that so but I'm just saying that is an option you can do and dinner is done so we have our homemade macaroni and cheese with pepper jack cheese I just opened up a can of baked beans some caramelized onions and gravy and our chicken thighs and drumsticks that we bread it, cooked on the stove top, and then put in the oven. So we're going to go ahead and make us a delicious plate right now. Look at that cheesy goodness right there. OMG! That's some beautiful. That is beautiful. You can't get that out of box. Put a little bit of baked beans on our plate. And like I said, I like the gravy on my chicken. Oy, oy, oy. Tell me if that doesn't look good. We're going to have a bite.
All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the macaroni and cheese. That is so good. I made it with a pepper jack cheese, but you can use any cheese you like. My, let's try some of this chicken smothered in that onion gravy. I'm gonna make sure I get some onions, some gravy, and some delicious chicken. Ooh, that is hot. Mm. That is cooked perfect. Perfect. Started on the stove top, ended in an oven. Delicious. I just want to thank you for sticking around today while we made a delicious, healthy, real ingredient southern dinner tonight. If you like videos like this, please please hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you part of the Grammy family. And if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. We need to get back to the art of real cooking for healthy, nutrient-dense meals to feed our families and stay away from the boxes and the processed food. Today's dinner was cooked with real ingredients. Just went to my pantry and went shopping, went into my freezer and pulled out a few things, and we were able to create a delicious, healthy meal. But I just wanna say thank you for sticking around today. I really appreciate you hanging out with me in the kitchen. Until next time, y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you.